Okay, so one little part I forgot to show is that we also have to not only do we define the length of the and width of the tabletop, we also need to define its height in space. So we're back here on the front elevation and we're going to do the same kind of thing with um, dimensions. So we're going to go over to annotate, pick aligned, and we're going to click basically the thickness of our table. So this top line and then this little one here and that and I'm going to left click just off into space. Now I'm going to lock that because I want it to always be two inches. I don't want to actually change the thickness of my table later on maybe but for now that's what I want. Um, however, I will change uh, the height of my table at different times. So I'm going to go back to annotate, click aligned and again I'm going to click on this top reference plane here and then the bottom one over here, pull it over here. In my case, I'm going to change this right now because three feet is kind of wonky. So we're going to click on that and do three feet. Oops, hold on. Let's do it this way. We're going to do actually we're going to check where we are here. How high are we? Oh, right here. We're going to change it here. So what I did is I clicked on basically what's the floor reference plane right here, this one in the bottom, and I'm going to type three feet just so we kind of have some nice math to start off with. So now this table top is three feet. The bottom of the table is three feet off the ground. Um, and we can kind of play with that. Or if we want to right now kind of make it it's exactly three feet, it would be two foot 10 inches. And now what we'll do here, we'll go annotate, pick a line. I'm picking this top line. So this is the top reference plane for the top of my table. And then the ground and over here, now that's three feet. Um, now I'm going to lock that but I'm going to make this also a parameter, meaning I can edit this later on and change the height of it. So I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to click on my um, dimension now so it's lit up. And then I'm going to go up here to modify dimension and here the little box for create parameter. And I'm going to call this table height. And it's a type, everything else is defaulted correctly the way it should be. So I'm going to say OK. And again, later on, we're going to, I'm going to show you, actually, we'll show you quick right now. So this is where my table is in space, three feet off the ground. However, if I go over here, here's this where it says out, out of these four buttons here on the top left, this one in the bottom right corner, I'm hovering over, it's called family types. This is where I click on it. So these are the three kind of definitions we've created, length, height width. If I change the height now, I'll change it to say like um, 18 inches, kind of like coffee table short, say OK, and see how it just popped itself down off the ground. So I can hit Control Z and undo that. I can also go and show you how this works over on reference plane. So here's where the length and the width of my coffee table is right now. But if I go back way over here under family types, um, say for example, I want to fix the math of this. So the length, I'm going to say I want it five feet. So let me move it over so you can see it change. So I'm going to hit OK and see how it just made it a lot skinnier. Um, and let's fix that again because I kind of want to keep it. So I'm going to keep, let's see, the length will be, this is a huge table. Let's make the width um, like three feet and then OK and see how I just kind of morphed it back into a more reasonable rectangle. So it's a five foot long table, three feet wide. And then if we look over here on the front elevation, it's currently three feet off the ground. All right, so now we're going to jump into table legs next.